Uh, well, Cecilia, it's it's not warm, but very hot in Delhi, and and thank God I'm traveling to a to a cooler place in the next couple of days. Uh, well, with regard to your question, uh, you know, to begin with, in February 2019, Hong Kong had proposed an extradition bill whereby offenders in, in the former British colony, now an autonomous territory in, in southeastern China, could be extradited to mainland China, Taiwan and Macau. Hong Kong's legal system, as you know, uh, is, is based on the rule of law. Uh, it has its own legal system in contrast to law of People's Republic of China under the, the principle of one country, two systems, which combines English common law and local legislations uh, codified. Hong Kong has entered into an extradition uh, agreement with, with 20 countries, but ironically, no such agreement is signed with mainland China, despite you know, ongoing negotiations uh, within the past almost two decades. The bill, uh, you know, pr proposed was, was, was proposed consequent to the request for surrender of a Hong Kong suspect in a homicide case, as you would recollect in Taiwan, where a 20 year old pregnant girl was murdered by her boyfriend while they were holidaying in, in, in Taiwan. Hong Kong authorities, uh, although had uh, arrested him, but but you know they, they failed to charge him uh, uh, under murder uh, offence. Taiwan authorities asked the Hong Kong government to deport the accused, but Hong Kong had no such arrangement. Hence, uh, you know subsequently uh, the the fugitive offenders and and uh, mutual legal assistance in criminal matters. Uh, legislation amendment bill 2019 was proposed establishing a mechanism of case by case transfer of fugitives the key provisions of the fugitive offenders uh, ordinance uh, distinguishes case uh, based surrender arrangements from general long term surrender uh, you know arrangements the critics obviously you know of this new proposed law fear that that residents will be vulnerable to china's flawed legal system which will curb their uh, judicial independence uh, you know this has led to hundreds and thousands of residents uh, you know taking to street to protest against the bill but as i look at it as an expert uh, the, the, the the passage of this law now cannot be obstructed in any which way. Cecilia.